The moon phases is always a topic that I had a tough time with. There's a lot of vocabulary words to memorize, and quite honestly, I found it boring. It wasn't all that interesting to me to know the difference between a crescent and a gibbous. Wouldn't it be easier if you had a cheat sheet that you could take with you onto the test and one that you wouldn't get in trouble for? That's what I'm going to teach you how to draw today. Okay, so let's start by drawing the sun over here. And let's do the earth over here. Now I'm drawing the earth way bigger than it would be in comparison to the sun, but it makes it a little easier to see. All right, and then I want you to draw kind of like a crosshairs like this. Now the earth, uh, the moon takes 28 days to go around the earth. 28 days. Right, it's kind of a magic number. It's actually uh, a little little different than that, but 28 is, uh, is anything you need to know for a test will work, and it makes the math for what we're about to do a whole lot easier. Okay, so we're going to draw uh, the four main moon phases. There's four moon phases that happen on one day each, and we're going to draw those first. So if I draw one right here, now let's pick a pen. It's a little easier to see. Draw one right here, one right here, one right here and one right here. Those are the four main f moon phases. Okay, And the moon is going to go around the Earth this direction, counterclockwise. And we know, since it takes 28 days to go all the way around, and 28 divided by 4 is 7, we know that each one of those moon phases is going to happen every 7 days. So 7 days, 7 days, seven days, seven days. Now the moon phase that is, this one right here is nearest to the sun. We're going to call that one a new moon. And the moon phase that is farthest, the moon phase that is farthest from the sun, we're going to call that a full moon. Okay, so now you already know two of the four main moon phases, and that wasn't too, too tough to memorize. Just remember, near is the newest, farthest is full. Okay, now if we're going to start here at the new moon, right, and we're going to be going around like this, 28 days, seven days is one quarter of the way around. And that's exactly what we're going to call it. We're going to call it first quarter. Now you would think that the next one, after you start at new moon, come around first quarter, you'd end up with half moon, all right? But they call that a full moon. We already came up with that. But this is three quarters of the way around, and we call that third quarter. Okay, those are the four main moon phases. Knowing that's going to get most of uh, uh, the questions are going to be asked on a test correct. They could ask you, um, how many days after a new moon will it be a full moon? 7 and 7 is 14. All right, there's lots of questions like that. You can get those right now. When we look at the moon, the right side of the moon is always the side that's going to tell us the future. So if you look at the right side of the moon and it's light, it means the moon is getting lighter every day. And if I look at the moon and the right side is dark, it means the moon is going to be getting a little darker every day. All right, when we start at a new moon, the new moon is when we look up in the sky and we don't see any light. From Earth, we're not seeing any of the light of the sun reflected down. Every day after that, the right side is the light side. You're going to start seeing a little bit more uh, of the, the right side getting lit every day. We call that waxing. Every day, you see a little bit more uh, of the moon getting lit up. That's waxing. Wax on. Once we get to a full moon, think of werewolves, they always see the full moon, and, and uh, it's all lit up. Every day after that, it starts getting a little bit darker. We call that waning. So everything from new moon to full moon is waxing. Everything from full moon to new moon is waning. And there's only one other thing that we need to know to... Um, be able to tell the names of all of the moon phases. All right, we know that what the four special moon phases look like. 
The last thing we have to know, vocabulary words, is uh, what are the shapes of the moon when it isn't a special, when it isn't a full or a new or a first quarter or a third quarter. So if I'm going to draw the moon right here, and if I were to look up at it and I were to see just a sliver of it was lit up like that, kind of like in the DreamWorks um, at the beginning of movies. If I see that, it looks like the letter C. That's my clue that this is a crescent moon. Right? And when I look at this one that I just drew, the left side is lit up. So I know it must be a waning crescent. So this is what's going to happen right before and right after a new moon. It's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter just after a new moon. It's a little sliver and it grows a little bit more until it covers half of it and then it's a first quarter. Or that light is going away. So over here, everything on this side, these are crescent moons. Crescent moon and a crescent moon. Okay, the other moon face, let's say we were to draw it half lit. Right? In this case, the right side is lit. Okay, this would be one of our four special moon phases, and since the right side is lit, that would be a first quarter moon. But if it's the right side is lit, the right side tells the future, it's getting more and more lit every day. So let's say it was a few days after that first quarter, and now it's starting to be almost entirely lit. Okay, This is called a gibbous moon. And the way I remember it is I'd write it, I write the B really, really fat. And it almost looks like that same shape. So this is a gibbous moon back over here and I write in gibbous. It looks busy but this right here can tell me the answer to almost any question someone will ever ask me on a test about moon phases. All right, so if I look and I say all right what is the moon phase three days after a third quarter? After a third quarter it's a waning crescent. I could say what would the moon phase be right before a full moon. Right before a full moon, I look at the arrow, we're right around in here, it is a waxing gibbous. How many days from a first quarter to a new moon? 7, 14, 21. Right. So almost any question we could ask you on a test, you can solve with this one uh, cheat sheet that you're going to be able to make in class. One word of warning. Let's say we had this question on the test. And it said, what is the name of this moon phase? You have to notice that the sun rays are coming from the right side. When we drew our diagram, our cheat sheet, the sun was on the left. So how are we going to do this problem? It's really easy. In order to have the sun on the right, all you do is take your paper and rotate it. Right? So now our sun is on the right. So we look. If we were to draw our crosshairs on here, right, we have it in the top right. And so if we flipped our papers on the top right, that would be a waxing crescent. So we would be able to answer that question really easy. This is a waxing crescent. Okay, just to summarize the things you actually have to memorize. All right, you need to know that the right side of the moon tells the future. And it starts off after a new moon, the right side is the light side. The right side lights up. You have to know that wax on, wane off. When we started a new moon, when the, the light is adding on, we call that waxing. When the light is going away, when the light is turning off, we call that waning. Wax on, wane off. The moon goes in a counterclockwise direction. It goes this way when we draw it. We have those two uh, shapes that we're going to describe. We have the crescent shape that looks like a C. And we have the gibbous, which means bulging or fat. So when I write it, I always write an exaggerated B for gibbous. And that helps me remember that that's the gibbous moon. We have four main moon phases. A new moon, which is all dark. First quarter moon, which is half lit with the right side being lit. A full moon, like with the werewolves, that's entirely lit. And then we have a third quarter 
which is half lit, but this time the left side of it is lit. And the moon takes about 28 days to go around the Earth, which means that each of the main moon phases happens every seven days. Now you should be all set to get 100 on your moon phase test.